response video on this whole Osama bin Laden crap. You know, Thunderfoot has put shot in the head in the title of his video. <laughs> you know, and it's in the tags and stuff like that's what this is about. We shot him in the head. Um, so if they shot him in the nuts, you know, would have put that. Osama, Osama bin Laden shot in the nuts. Um, yeah, well, whatever. Uh... I guess the, the only thing that comes to mind is timing. You know, you have to say, okay, they, they basically knew this guy was there for months. How come they waited till now to get around to assassinating him? And maybe that's something to do with the fact that we're, you know, killing people in Libya. You know, family of Gaddafi that were obviously out to assassinate him. And so it sort of takes the assassination edge off because we're going out there and getting our justice. Because we got our Obama or Obama, yeah, or Osama, Obama, Osama, Obama, Obama, Osama, yeah, whatever it is, yeah, fuck all this bullshit, anyway, uh, you know, it was inevitable, right, inevitably, Osama Bin Laden was going to die, or he was going to get killed, I mean, you know, it was going to happen eventually, and so, yeah, it really isn't an event, but it's sort of like, I mean, this is the way that people are summing it up. So that's what I'm going to respond to. It's just this kind of nonsensical, idiotic summation of what's being accomplished through all of this bullshit. The United States blamed by some Palestinians for its ongoing support, as it is seen, of Israel in this uh, conflict, in this Middle Eastern conflict. However, while some Palestinians were taking to the streets in apparent celebration, one youth was quoted as saying as he received a sweet, sweets handed around in celebration, this is a sweet from Osama bin Laden, he said. Bin Laden, the purported mastermind of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, in which the fundamentals of Islam played a significant role, is dead. Killed. Yeah, you say the fundamentals of Islam played a significant role, right? You're saying that, but that's just complete crap. We know that Osama bin Laden was all about the politics. And of course, just you could say that Christianity is a big part of the Republican Party. All right? And that America, the red, white, and blue, it all stands for Christianity because it's a mostly a Christian country. And so everything we do is a Christian crusade. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want that slander put on it. I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm part of an, a, a Christian country. Is that how we're supposed to look at it? Because you can label it that way? But yeah, it's not the facts, and you goddamn know it. ...by U.S. special forces. And yeah, damn straight Islam was a significant factor. I mean, is anyone here actually willing to stand forward and defend the idea that the religion of Islam was not a significant factor in any of this? Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's, just, let's just play your little game for a second. Let's just say we weren't in Saudi Arabia, that we weren't controlling the oil coming out of Saudi Arabia and the rest of the Middle East for the last 40 years. Let's just say none of that shit happened, that we weren't interfering in Iran, that we never protected the Shah, that we didn't play all the other fucking games we've been playing in the Middle East for the last 40 years. Let's say none of that ever happened. Are you still saying this would have happened? That Islam, for no fucking reason, would have flew planes into our goddamn buildings? No, yeah, I guess you, you, I guess, you know, be honest, you little motherfucker, and tell the goddamn truth. If it wasn't about that politics, this, this fucking religious war wouldn't fucking exist, and you goddamn know it, you stupid turd. That the last words on the hijacker's lips were not the Islamic battle cry, Alu Hakba. Oh, right, and how many times have one of our American soldiers put a little Christian cross on one of our bombs? How many times have they done that? How many times has some religious Christian symbol been, you know, placed on top of our war effort? How many times have fucking little preachers prayed to the little soldiers before they went into their little battles? All right, you want to keep pretending that the whole America, um, the, the whole, uh, um, you know, military industrial complex is a christian organization is that going to be your fucking argument bogus 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 anyway i think this is arguably the best way it could have played out i mean it's hard to claim that you died as a martyr for any cause if you spent the best part of the last decade hiding in caves or imprisoned within your own compound Oh, yeah, right. I mean, that, that's just, just, just a silly, uh, irrational statement. I mean, uh, Thomas Paine spent years in prison, or at least some time, I don't know how long it was. But, uh, you know, look, all kinds of people have, have incurred a price for their rebellion. 
So yeah, he paid the rebels price. Big deal. News flash. He's not the first and he won't be the fucking last, idiot. All but cut off from the outside world. I mean, let's be real, crazy hermits hide in secrecy for years. And it's difficult to see how this can be spun as some valiant hero's death. Well, look, he only cost us how much money? Let's just say how much 9-11 cost in New York City alone. What? <laughs> what kind of price tag are you going to put on it? Uh, it's got to be a couple hundred billion dollars, right, of, of chaos and mess created. Then just add up how much it's cost us in Iraq and in Afghanistan and Pakistan over the last 10 years. Um, two, three trillion dollars. Trillion dollars and you're not gonna you're gonna pay the bill are you are you thunderbutt no you're gonna beg online for some money to pay your part of the bill well guess what you owe a couple of hundred thousand dollars worth of debt indeed it very much reminds me of saddam hussein who was also caught hiding albeit in a hole in the ground so will this change the state of play much yeah i think so it sets the precedent that if you wish to rouse the sleeping giant... Yeah, here we go again. The rousing the sleeping giant, like the size of our industrial complex, makes us right. Might makes right. That's all you're fucking saying. You're not defending us. You're not saying we are fighting for something right or righteous or valuable. We're not... We just have the might. We're just the sleeping, big, fat, fucking giant, okay? And we'll come smite you if you do anything that we don't like. We are the Nazis in control, in power. We're better and bigger than the rest of the world. We'll tell them what we're going to do. All right, good luck with that, asshole. And when it comes to burn your ass, okay, I don't want to see no little whiny complaints. You'd best be ready to deal with the consequences that's likely to entail. <laughs> yeah, touche, fucker. Hoist on your own fucking die. Live by the sword, die by the sword, asshole. You're just asking for a big pile of butt hurt and pain, fucker. Bin Laden getting killed by U.S. special forces puts that precedent on a 50-foot-tall, highlighted, neon-glowing banner. And while the outcome of the 9-11 attacks doubtless exceeded all of Al-Qaeda's expectations... I have to wonder if in those many years of hiding, in his self-imposed imprisonment, if he had doubts. With All right, like he had doubts when he was fighting in Afghanistan, okay, uh, uh, with, with our money and our arms against the Russians. Um, the man set himself up for this kind of life, okay? He's put himself at jeopardy more than one time, you asshole. So you're not going to make him into some sort of cowering little wimpy ass bastard like you who just lives on his comfortable life in his comfortable fucking country, exploiting the rest of the fucking world for his lavish little scientific lifestyle. Let's all go fly to Mars with that while the world starves. Yeah, just keep talking your fucking rag shit, okay? Osama Bin Laden was a crazy motherfucker, but you can't call him a fucking coward, asshole. Not, no fucking sale. He had big, fat, juicy balls. Bigger balls than you could ever dream about having, you fucking goddamn bastard. That his attempts to gain the attention of America had been counterproductive to his goals. Yeah, right. Um, let's see. How many crazy Muslim motherfuckers are today compared to how many crazy motherfucking Muslims were there ten years ago? Why don't you do that math, Mr. Scientist? You tell me what the statistics are. How, how many fundamentalist dumbasses, okay? Dumbasses. I'm talking about they couldn't they, they don't know even the basic biology. Don't know shit about the real fucking world. Is Islam smarter today than it was 10 years ago? No, the fact is it's dumber. Okay, we've driven them back into the Stone Age. We've driven them back to their fundamentalism with our stupid, idiotic, fucktarded war. All right, we haven't gained anything. His kind have, have gained in population, asshole. They haven't lost population. They're gaining population. They're breeding like fucking rabbits, you dumb shit. You're losing the fucking war, okay? Their ignorance is breeding. Not intelligence, ignorance. You loser, you asshole, you idiot, you fucking goddamn fucking warmonger and fucking crazy bastard. But who knows what went through his mind. It wouldn't surprise me if he drew solace. From his religion. However, in practical terms, the reaction that followed 9-11 has not been productive. Oh yeah, right. We are bankrupt, asshole. Bank 
fucking rupt. All right, the whole fucking economic system. It didn't fall in 9/11. It's gonna fall, you asshole. Because you're not gonna again. What are you gonna go begging on YouTube to pay the bill? You're gonna come up with the 14 trillion bucks? And, 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 you know, now that we stole the money from Libya, do you think the rest of those Middle Eastern countries are going are gonna to keep investing in, in, in the U.S. or in any of our American corporations? Do you think they're going to be silly enough to do that? No, they're going to start de-investing. All right, so all that oil money, instead of being part of IBM and all these big American corporations, all that oil money is all of a sudden going to start drifting the fuck out of our economy, you dumbass. We're not winning, we're losing. To any goals that he might have been trying to achieve. I mean, 9-11 was the crowning jewel in Al-Qaeda's achievements. After that, people took them seriously, and the crackdown began. And a few years later, they were still capable of making the odd bomb, such as the London and Madrid bombings. But since then, the operational efficiency of the organization in the West has been a farce. The oh, so now you're going to measure the the the... How how uh, the Muslim religion is doing, how fundamentalism is doing in the world based on how many terror attacks they're actually able to pull off, especially when we have become completely um, right, left, um, you know, better dead than red, hostile. So we've created an environment that's completely hostile, all right, that the, we're putting up the walls all over the fucking place. Okay, we're we're not we're not making the the world um, safer. Okay, we're making the world less safe. And your argument is is this is how we know it's a better world is because there's fewer terror attacks. Fail again, asshole. It, what can only be described as amateurish and half-assed attacks. Two trillion dollars, three trillion dollars. Who the fuck knows? You, we got people. You, we're getting. You're getting fucking X-rayed to get on a fucking airplane. People are looking at your little, your little tiny weenie. Okay, when you're getting on a fucking airplane. All right, but Bin Laden could fucking have a beer and laugh his ass off just over that fucking fact alone. You're afraid of goddamn people's shoes. Okay, you can't let people get on a fucking airplane with fucking shoes on. All right, you don't think he's getting a, he had a good time laughing at that, asshole? I mean, just to put it all into perspective, the Columbine attacks were two completely untrained delinquent teenagers. But they were pros compared to the typical terrorist attack of late, which, if they were doing well, managed to... Oh, whatever. I mean, really. So, so it's all about the how many. So if they figure out how to blow up one of our liquid propane tankers in New York Harbor and they kill two million people... Then you'll sit there and say, oh, gee, yeah, Al-Qaeda knew what the hell they were doing, the smart guys. Uh, yeah, they're right. We're wrong. How does it change anything? How does, how, does the, how does terrorism make you right and make them wrong? More terrorism. That wouldn't make them right and you wrong, would it? More terrorism wouldn't make them right, would it? No, it wouldn't. That right it wouldn't have a goddamn thing to do with who's right and who's wrong. We're the fucking assholes in their fucking country, you dumb shit. Why don't you deal with that fact, you fucking retard? Severely burn or kill themselves only. But arguably, Bin Laden's legacy will have been to have awakened a complacent West to an... Uh, three trillion dollars. That's his fucking legacy. Three fucking trillion dollars out of your fucking pocket. Okay? That's his legacy. And fundamentalism stronger than ever in the Middle East. That's his legacy, moron. An ideology that will motivate people, either in part or totally, to blowing up planes, buildings, burning down embassies, beheading innocent people, institutionally sentencing people to death merely for bad-mouthing their religion. Right, and that's exactly the fundamentalism your asshole fucking sleeping giant has been creating, okay? That's all you're doing. You're just making people dumber and more hateful Poorer, all every every bad constituent of human uh, capacity is all you're fermenting with your fucking sleeping giant, uh, whatever shock and awe, shoot him in the head, bullshit, moron. And to threaten to kill or to actually kill authors, cartoonists, or playwrights merely for exercising their free speech. 
And right, and we, we've had jackasses in this country shoot doctors merely for performing a medical service. So all of this little fucktarded whiny complaints about Islam. Islam is not a threat to your fucking freedom. You're a threat to their fucking freedom. That's the fucking reality, you fucking goddamn Nazi. Ian, what's more amazing is that the West was so accommodating for so long, so ready to indulge in this indolent appeasement. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this indolent appeasement of us fucking with their fucking countries because we wanted to steal their fucking oil. It's no different than that they might as well just have been Native Americans. We gotta shove them onto their fucking reservation so we can get their goddamn juice. And it's all about the fucking goddamn juice, and you know it, you fucking goddamn weasel. Fuck you. Stay the fuck out of their business, and I'll guarantee you. I'll give you a little contract, and I'll sign it. And I'll guarantee you on on your right to chew on my intestines, okay, to fry me in a goddamn pan and eat me for fucking goddamn lunch, that these people won't bother you if you stay the fuck out of their anuses. Of a religion that is essentially in a class of its own, in its ability to feel adherence, that will engage in this sort of behavior. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not gonna be able to find any Christians doing the same shit. Kill Obama, George Bush, standing on the fucking graves of dead people. All right, we're gonna go get him. Yeah, kill, kill, kill. Way to go, fucking asshole. Bravo. Mission accomplished, right? Mission accom Remember mission accomplished? Do you remember that thunder butt? Mission accomplished. Do you remember that? <laughs> this is such a fair argument. Like I said, you don't think they could sit there and do the same thing? They could play a bunch of fucking loony Christians on their TV? Right? And just say, look at the loony Christians. Look at look at the little Christians. Look what the Christians are doing. And they just put you in that category. They just say, because you're an American, you're a Christian now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're know, going to kill this guy too? Are you going to assassinate him? And you're going to assassinate every other guy like him? Is that going to be your battle plan? Let's just kill all the fundamentalist Muslims, right? And then the world will be safe for Thunderfoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I think that will be Bin Laden's legacy. The man who decisively kicked the West in its complacency. And <laughs> yeah, kicked the West in its nuts, okay? And the West is still not, like I said, we, it, you know, w what happens if we have a depression, an economic collapse of, of, you know, monumental, unseen proportions? Does that make both Bin Laden right? No. So this measuring based on how big the catastrophe is is just totally fucking irrelevant. So quit playing this fucking game. It's not about power. It's about who should be in whose fucking face. Who should be fucking with who. Who did, who is, who's committing the crime here? Who's stirring this pot of hate? And that answer is undeniably um, the bad is all on us. He got the response that he had been lusting for. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I, exactly. You played right into his card hand. However you want to play it out, that's right, okay? I mean, you know, the whole thing is going to come down and it's going to get damn ugly. And who do you think is going to win the Mo in Middle East when we are not there anymore to protect anything else? All right? Yeah, the fundamentalists are going to win. So, way to fail. Bravo. Way to waste human lives. Way to, way to, way to, way to just ferment the hate and waste human beings' lives for absolutely no accomplishment. You don't win this game with your fury and your fire and your bombs and your... You just can't win that way. Violence begets violence. Fire begets fire. Whatever. This is the losing... This is a loser strategy. You don't show people a better way by being a smaller man. You do it by being the bigger man, asshole. So it's all lose for you. And that's good. So yeah, way to fail. Bravo.
<laughs> There's really nothing else to say. Um, bin Laden's been irrelevant for 10 years. He did what he, he needed to do. He did his, he accomplished his mission. All right, so what, what, what? There's nothing to argue here. This is irrelevant. Bin Laden isn't the game. The game is bigger than Bin Laden, morons.